So we're now into the championship rounds. And before we get into it, we're just going to recap of what you've already done. So you've got the goal or the objective, but more importantly, you've got a strong reason why. You've also then organised when you're going to start on it and how frequently you're going to work on it. Then you've looked at the knowledge, the skills, the habits, the people, the groups, the organisations, i.e. the positive things you're going to do. You've then also backed that up with the negative things that you're going to have to overcome. And then you put that together into a plan of action. Now, it wasn't until I really, really thought about it that I actually got the power of affirmations. So I want you to understand it like this. Think about your own actual name. Why is it you were given that name? Why are you even called that, okay? It's because before you were even able to put up a fight, deny it, question it or whatever, you were given it by parents. You were told it repeatedly and you just had to accept it. And over time, you became that person. For example, say your name's Michael. You're told Michael, 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 and then you become Michael. So just think about the power. If you're regularly telling yourself, especially with passion, that I am confident, I am wealthy, I'm strong, or whatever it is that supports your goal, ultimately you have to become that thing. And that is the power of affirmations. Whenever you're sort of low on energy or you're feeling that things aren't really happening, you just need to go back and affirm. I need to affirm with some energy. Almost do it like you're crazy. When I used to do it, I used to do it in the house, loud, at the top of my voice. I wanted people to see me and I wanted my parents, my family, whoever, to question me. Because then when they questioned me, I had to justify, I had to explain what I was doing. And every time I'm doing that, I'm just slyly reaffirming to my brain because this is the magical power. This is what needs to be convinced. And as soon as this is convinced through things like affirmations, that's when it comes about. So don't worry if you first start and it sounds a bit fake and you feel a bit stupid that's exactly how I felt but the more and more you do it it gives you energy and that's the whole thing about manifestation it's the law of energy for me okay so the final part of this system is a skill called visualization because let's face it we're all very very visual people so if I can show you how to manifest anything into your life by using that skill you're going to get massive massive value from it so check it out and I'll see you in the next video